Good morning, kids. How are you today? For this morning, we will be having another fun and exciting science lesson for weeks 7 to 8, quarter 1 in Science 4. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to describe the changes in the materials, whether they are useful or harmful in the environment. Observe the picture. Is the place clean? Have you seen places like these in your community or in other places that you have been? You probably have spent time with your friends and other relatives in a swimming or playing in a clean and safe playground before pandemic occurred. Have you enjoyed your activities in this kind of place? The immediate place where you are exposed to is your environment. In a sea or river, there are different things that you may see. There are living and non-living things found in them. There are interactions that lead to changes in the materials found in our home and in our environment. Seas are the habitat or environment for fish and other marine organisms. When land or bodies of water are dumped with garbage of any kind such as empty bottles, plastics, toxic wastes, chemicals from the factories, and others, the land and bodies of water become polluted. Land and water pollution are not useful in the environment. Water pollution is very harmful because the fish will be harmed as their habitat will be destroyed. Polluted land serves as breeding places for FLIs, cockroaches, and rats. These pests carry germs that cause diseases, hence hazardous to one's health. The use of fertilizers and other chemicals in plants harm our environment. This will lead to problem of air, water, and soil pollution. The harmful effects of changes in the environment are oftentimes caused by human activities. However, there are changes in the environment that are found to be useful. The flowering of trees into fruits, utilization of leftover foods into compost, the use of animal manure for fertilizers, and the recycling and upcycling of different local materials are helpful to keep the environment clean and more adaptable for human, plants, and animals to live. Let's try this activity. There are human activities that are either useful or harmful in the environment. Complete the table below by examining the situation or picture. Here's another fun activity. Draw a happy face if the given situation states changes in the materials that are useful in the environment and sad face if it states harmful effect. In learning task 5, recall a situation at home or in the community where you participated in keeping the environment clean. Write a 3-5 sentences regarding your experiences. Have you had fun answering? Here's our last activity for this lesson. Read each situation carefully. Choose the letter of the best correct answer. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to click the subscribe button.